Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. So, with itchy eyes to boot to start, that sucks. Today I want to talk about kind of an extension to what, more or less of what I was talking about a little bit ago. So not too long ago, I was talking about the, f the shift of a fake emotion or response to something transferring over to real over time. Today, kind of as a follow-up more or less, I want to talk about job-related motivation. But let me first start with what ties the two together. What made me originally think about talking about the transition from fake to real in the first place is the fact that jobs a lot of the time, whether customer service, retail, fast food, basically anything aside from cubicle related jobs, if it's anything else, you're basically required to give, like you put on a smile all the time. And as I was going through the idea of why, like, what goes on under these fronts, there were missing links that nowadays people have just forgotten. And this is where today's video, Job Motivation, comes into play. I'm going to start by introducing one factor of motivation that seems to be, for a lot of the times, ignored. Some people don't, but for the most part, apparently a lot of people do. This is coming from someone who's held hmm, quite a few job, different jobs at this point, and unfortunately most of them confirm exactly what I'm talking about. But enough dilly-dallying, let me get to the point. Music. A lot of the time in like fast food places, retail places, um, just generic buildings when you're going in to take care of like the post office, for example, or postal services, depending on where you're from, it could be named differently, or it could be like just almost every single industry. One thing always is heard when you enter the building. Music. Why? Why does music play? How many of you know the real answer? I guarantee you don't know the original real answer. With a few second delay there, because I figured, you know, say the answer to the screen even though I can't hear you. A lot of you probably said it's for the customers to keep them going while they're in the store or in the area, wherever they may be. As much as this may be partially true, it's not the original idea, or the, re orig the original reason why music is played in areas. The original reason came from a psychological study quite a ways back, where That music that would be played gave motivation to the people who work there. Which kind of gives a large look down on a lot of fast food places, for example. Because a lot of fast food places have a tendency to play the music out in their lobbies, but it'll be like dead silent, nobody allowed to play anything in like the like kitchen area or where they clean stuff, keep the cleaning supplies, or where they keep like food cooled uh, or frozen depending on the circumstance or where they keep their dishes or their stock, all that kind of stuff, dead silent. Same thing with warehouses. For example, Walmart. It's a large store and in the back behind the store is a large warehouse. In the store, you can faintly hear it, but there is music sometimes. Sometimes you can faintly hear it. But when you go back to the warehouse, dead silence. Well, okay, that's not true, but 
No music is heard whatsoever. Why? Because it's like people spaced out the idea. The, the original study. It's like the study meant nothing. And people interpret it now just as, oh, people want to hear music while they're visiting. Let's play it for them. But our, our workers, now nah, we, we need to make sure they focus. They're not allowed to hear or they'll get distracted. That's bull. Personally, that's getting, I feel like that's getting mixed up with generic conversation. Like, for example, if somebody was to talk into my ear while I'm trying to work, it would distract me like that. But, if someone was to play music, it would actually cause my body to move faster. Unless it's a very slow-paced song, then it would be at normal speed. But this has been phys it's been proven on multiple occasions, that's kind of why. And it gives a slight amount of motivation. But that's just one factor of several that seem to just be ignored. Another good thing is... Nowadays, it seems like people are just hiring just for the sake of hiring and a job is needed. And or they need the help. But they don't look into the details of the person themselves a lot of the time. And half, the, half of the time they do. But the other half, they're just like, eh, we're desperate, we need it. Only to realize that they've made a big mistake. And this has led to certain, this would lead to certain circumstances like bad management. A good example of this um, is like, say someone hires on someone to be a... Like a manager of sorts, like that the oversees a line of accountants and this person is very upbeat it's they're very enthusiastic and they're very supportive of several different aspects like for, for example meetings are always held to make sure that things are in balance how many of you have an idea okay well we'll go one by one see what you got but first Let's start by seeing how all of your guys' days have been, or how your weeks have been. We'll go left to right, and each of you can tell us exactly how things were, professionally and uh, in your personal life, if you wish. Go. And then they'll, like, go down the line. Then they'll go, okay, awesome. Looks like we're both in a good, we're, we're, well, all of us are in at least decent condition, if not good. So, are we ready for uh, the next part of the meeting? Yeah! Awesome, let's move on. Okay, so first we have to talk about blank, and then the just it would go on from there. And that would bring a large, more optimistic, more motivative uh, presentation, rather than just, okay, this is what we need, this is what we got, this is what we have to do, this is what we did. Any questions? No? Good. People could be like raising their hands, the guy's just like, okay, moving on. Where's the motivation in that? There's nothing. It's just dead. Like, you compare the two circumstances and... It's like motivation is just out the window. Now, every now and then, you will have circumstances where you do hire good people. You will have a great team. And even every now and then, some people on that team will just be having a rough day. And their motivation is just gone at the beginning of the day. Do you just leave it be? Or do you approach the person? That really depends on the circumstance. Because you also got to be cautious on like what exactly might be going on in here. If it's something out of your reach, the first question is always, are you okay? You don't look so good. If they say I'm fine, it depends on how the tone is of them saying it. If they're going, I'm fine. If they say it with that kind of tone, then yeah, they're fine. They're just a little bit tired or stressed, but nothing that they can't handle. But if the tone ends up being something like, I'm fine. 
where it kind of just like keeps going downward in kind of a staggered way. And the shaking of the hand was intentional, by the way. Um, that's when you can kind of tell there's no motivation because of something that really, that was like really bad. At that point, the best thing probably to do would just be to reach a hand out if they don't take it, say, well, if that's the case, then if there's anything we can do to make it your day easier, just let us know. We can tell there's something up, but we get it that you don't want to talk about it, so just let us know. I'm very lucky to have come across a lot of jobs that do that. But unfortunately, I'm also unlucky enough to come across a lot of jobs that don't. Good example of one that did was the... Well, it's actually my current job, but it's also the job prior to it. Um, which, for those who don't remember, Kuro and Arby's are the two. Both had good enough teams to at least, goodly enough teams to at least reach out with something. They could tell something was up. But they also left it be when necessary, but still offered a hand in case something happened. Just that action alone provides a lot of motivation for people's minds. Now, every now and then, there will be a circumstance where a job will not do this and go to the bad end of the spectrum. The most notorious job for this would be a job like McDonald's. Well known to have crappy managers beyond belief who don't care, who you could tell just by looking at them, all they're there for is just, I want to gain money and I want to get the heck out of here. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the money. The oldest motivation in the book. That is kind of where it all started. The first aspect of it is, if you didn't gain any, anything out of what you did, you would not do it. Now, in the case, like, let's use this channel for another example. What is my motivation for pressing on with this channel? You guys, actually. And that's not an over-exaggeration or cheesiness either. It really is true. Every, ever since I hit 50 subs when I was on my own running this channel, um... Things started to like, because I've been keeping track of graphic, like a graph wise, like on how the slopes of like how things would gradually grow or shrink, um, whether it's hours, watch hours, or subs. Um, and seeing the gradual growth of it is what actually gives me motivation to keep doing it. The desire to actually want to see the stuff. Originally, the motive for it was more, hmm, I have nothing better to do. I like my jokes. I like how I make myself laugh. Let's do it. And I would keep doing it for myself, for my own purpose, just to make me laugh. And I still do, but not as much as I, in the case of making the content for other individuals. It, it just sparks a different interest, but that is the kind of the motivation on that front. Every single thing has motivation to it, has some type of motivation. Going back to the normal job aspect, it's money. No one would ever do any kind of job if it wasn't for the fact that they got money off of it. No one would ever work. Our electricity would probably be out. Water bills would just, the, even if they got paid, water would not come through. It, it would basically be a grind and a very, very, very difficult process to get through. But because of these aspects of that motivation, that starting motivation, which started eons, what feels like eons ago, People constantly go to jobs. Now the actual mental motivation to do so is more what this video is about, but... The 
mental motivation is the one that really kind of triggers differences. For some people, like me, music does it. That's actually why while I sometimes um, work on like how I want to approach certain things, like this video for example, I will listen to music beforehand. Um, for example, usually it's YouTube music, like a song called Smile Like You Mean It. No, not by... I believe it's the Killers who wrote the other version of the song. Or a different version. Like, a, same title, different song. I think it was the Killers. I don't remember, but... No. This is a song that was more of a fan-made song based around the... One episodic series so far called uh called has been hotel and there are several others a lot of them are youtube based like that one life is fun um all the way or subtitled i believe in steve there are several and sometimes i'll even listen to older like just generic music like weird science by oingo boingo but there are, every, every time I listen to this stuff, it gives me motivation to do these kind of things. Or spending time with Pink Fox, who now is in a room that's actually directly behind where the camera sits. That's why I was doing this. Um, or spending time with, um, our, with Aaron and or other friends as well sometimes. It's just, when you have this right clicks, or motivators of any kind, it makes it easier to be able to approach tasks. And it gets rid of stress more easily. This is just something that I've noticed over time in myself, in others, and under many circumstances as well. But I don't know. These are just my thoughts. Uh, job motivation is kind of where the core hits on all this because life is basically go do a job, go do school, go home, you have like eight hours left till you have to do it again. That's an over-exaggeration well, by a little bit, but not by much. But yeah, this, these, the, I don't know. This, these are my thoughts on job motivation. Did I miss anything that you guys would like to add? Uh, what motivates you? to keep going when it comes to jobs, careers, and or life. Let us know in the comments below. Want to check out any other discussion or rant like this one that has been done prior to and or after this? Click the link on this side of my head and you'll find a long playlist filled with almost anything at this point. Uh, click the link on the other side. If this isn't quite filling your boat, you stuck around to the end and you want to check out something else that may appease you a bit more on this channel. Yeah, just click the link on this side, it'll be there. In the meantime, I'm going to head off. Thanks again for tuning into this video, and we'll catch you guys later. Bye!